What's up guys, it's Talha here. In this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a quick post production for your architectural renderings in Photoshop. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have these two renderings. This one I created in Revit. I did not do any post production. I only added these lighting effects in Photoshop. And if you also want to learn how, how to create this kind of interior renderings in Revit, uh, you can check out my interior course on Udemy. Just follow the link in the description. Anyway, I will just close this and open this rendering up. This one I created in Enscape. And if I zoom in here, you can see this glass is way too bright and that is why we cannot see these water drops on this glass as well as the this corner here is uh, way too dark so now i will show you how quickly you can fix these kind of uh, problems for your renderings in photoshop i actually don't have photoshop installed in my computer i'm going to be using an alternative for photoshop which is completely free you just need to open up your browser and type here photopia.com and you can see here the interface and everything is the same as photoshop so if you are if you are using photoshop you can still follow this tutorial let's open the rendering here i have it and skip rendering open now first we will create a duplicate of this just drag this image on this uh, layer icon to create the duplicate so first we will focus on the dark spots on this rendering and for that i'm going to be using dodge tool just go here select dodge tool and you can see the shortcut for this is uh, letter o you can press o on your keyboard to select this and now right click select this soft mechanical and then increase the size of this brush and start applying this on the dark spots so first i will start from here you can see it's adding the brightness to this So you can see we have increased the brightness uh, on these areas but we got these white spots on this chair as well as on this floor which will fix that in a moment now i will zoom into this corner and start applying this this tool works very well with the corners because in most of the renderings uh, we don't get light on the corners so you can use this and increase the brightness uh, on the corners in your renderings and here also we are getting these uh, weird white spots and we'll fix them in a moment now let's just compare this image with the old one so i will just turn off this layer you can see the difference before it was uh, way too dark now you can see the changes now let's work on this glass here and to reduce the brightness we are going to be using burn tool you will find that here in the same tool you just need to right click and it will give us this burn tool select that and again we will right click select this soft mechanical brush and then increase the size and start applying this on the bright areas uh, on your rendering i will apply that on this glass here and you can see the difference we can now actually see the water drops here on this glass which were not visible before And we can even now see the trees here
now let's uh, compare this image again with the old one I will just zoom out and turn off this layer you can see the difference and let's use the same burn tool and fix these white spots you just need to click on that like so just add that here as well you can spend some time on your renderings to make them better i will just leave it like this for now let's just turn this off again and you can see before this rendering was looking like this and now within minutes we have turned that into this so these were the tips i wanted to share with you guys i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video